And it was one on one of those programs yeah. that I, I learned yeah. that, um, you know, apart from Tuesdays where fishermen don't go to sea, yeah, exactly. um, potters, yeah. those who mold pots, also yeah. have a day where For they real? don't, yes, they don't, they don't work. I see. So these are some of the what things did they that do? drink palm wine or something. No. Well, the fishermen okay. don't drink palm wine on okay. those days. They mend their nets. The potters, I mean. the po yes, I'm saying the, okay. the fishermen don't um, okay, drink, drink palm anything. wine on those days. They mend their nets mm. to get ready for the next day mm. fishing expedition. Yeah. And exactly the same with the okay. potters. They okay. do the same, you know. And I'm very sure that the various artisans, you know, have specific days mm. and things that we need mm. to talk about for us. As Ghanaians, wonderful to know about. Great, great. You know, one thing that strikes uh, uh, struck me when she was spoke, she says that all what we we doing as GBC should be able to feed into a certain mindset, and yes. for me, very critical. Yes. So continue doing that, and we'll continue doing. Thank that. you, thank you for the much. reminder. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> yes. Right. So um, a very big thanks to GTP for clothing us. Mm -hmm. um, Look at that, beautiful. <laughs> okay, and the whole place is G GTP, so it's a collaboration between GBC and GTP. And GTP has supported us for many, many, many Absolutely. years. Before You're I right. came in here, yeah. GTP was supporting us. Exactly. And we are hopeful for um, better and further mm. collaboration mm. into the years ahead. No better and further partnerships. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, so I want to invite um, the, our acting director general, and the president, of Mr. Augustus Yamsin, he has the welcome address for us this morning. Sir, you're welcome. <laughs> the former Deputy Minister for Tourism, Culture, and Creative Arts, Honorable Zifa Abla Gomashi, Chiefs and queen, queen mothers and traditional leaders of Greater Accra area, the governing board, the former director of corporate affairs, Ms. Doris Adabasu Kuonu, management and staff of GBC, all invited guests, and our cherished viewers and listeners across the country. L Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of governing board and management of and staff of GBC, I wish to extend a special greetings and a warm welcome to our honorable ministers, our traditional rulers, and all invited guests present to witness the launch of this year heritage celebrations. Ladies and gentlemen, in African context, it is established fact that modernization and technology have come to make life easier and more convenient for us. But it has also served to weaken our cultural tradition and practices, which we have heard there for centuries. But why, it is, why is it important to hold on to our cultural heritage and not let it down with modernity. As a people, we must have a unique identity that sets us apart from other people. The identity is enshrined in our culture and traditions. We will be groping in the dark if we were to alienate our cultural practices entirely in favor of westernization. I believe it is this background that government instituted the National Heritage Celebration for the month of March every year in a bid to restore, protect, preserve, and promote our rich national heritage. GBC has therefore embraced the challenge and taken upon ourselves to complement the national effort to promote the patronage of made in Ghana products for the growth of Ghanaian businesses and industries. It is the surest way to grow our economy and create jobs for teaming unemployed youth. Indeed, this is the fourth year we started this event. It is about time we showcased and celebrated our traditional crafts, customs, food and drinks, songs, and unique culture dances. I'm pleased to announce that all our TV channels 
and radio networks across the country will be airing programs that will reflect the rich cultural heritage of the Ghanaian people. I entreat all and Sandy to tune in and be educated and informed. The public is also encouraged to join GBC as we celebrate our heritage by wearing traditional Ghanaian attire, eating local dishes, and patronizing all things Ghanaian. On behalf of GBC Governing Board, I wish to welcome you all to the launch of GBC's 2018 Heritage Month celebration. May God bless you, bless Ghana, and thank you for coming. Mr. Yamsin, thanks very much indeed. That was a great speech. Very great um, for welcoming our trace this morning. Well, since yeah. Mr. Yamsin mentioned food yeah. again, mm. so, we are so <laughs> what are you implying? There should be a bowl of um, his okay. choice, probably steaming fufu and aponjin kakra. You think so? Anna. <laughs> Maybe. Yes, yes. I, I can't. I can't. Eto and pantin fanti. Is that a morning affair? Phone, phone. Okay. Okay. Ono baya china. Ono baya china. Thank you very much indeed sir, for, for, for the welcome address. Okay, so uh, we're moving on. And uh, <coughs> I wanted to say some greetings in Hausa. I'm struggling. I wanted to see if we were able to speak a, a couple of the languages, but uh, um, we'll, we'll come back. To be on the back. safe side, yeah. you can say it in Ga for now. <laughs> <laughs> Because you know, the Ghanaian language is so dynamic that mm. if you miss the tone, it means something else. Oh, yes. So <laughs> oh, yes. You could be fine for that if you miss the tone. Yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, we're moving on. And at this point, we're going to um, call on um, the director from to the Tourism Ministry, Mr. Yeah. Edwin Ousu Mensa, yeah. to give us the keynote address and launch our uh, event. Thank you very much, Aku. But you should have said that I'm standing in for my minister. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much. Um, Acting Director General of GBC, Mr. Augustus Yamsen, my former Deputy Minister for Tourism, Culture and Creative Arts, Mama Dramado the First, Directors of GBC, Nime and Name, members of staff, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. First of all, let me apologize for my Honorable Minister uh, for her absence. Unfortunately, she's out of the country on official duty, so she couldn't make it. So I'm standing in for her. So I'm going to just do a very simple thing. I'm reading her speech. I'm grateful to the management and staff of the Ghana Broadcasting Corporation, GBC, for honoring me with this invitation to give the keynote address at this year's GBC Heritage Month celebration. First of all, I wish to congratulate management and staff of the GBC for instituting this event, which my ministry plans to incorporate formally into the National Tourism, Arts and Culture Special Events Calendar. Distinguished guests, the mainstay of my ministry's mandate is to provide a firm, stable policy environment for effective mainstreaming of Ghanaian arts and culture into all aspects of national life. This is to ensure the emergence of a vibrant creative economy to improve and advance the tourism, arts and culture industry. Among the functions of my ministry are formulation of policy, planning and programming for the development and promotion of domestic, regional and international tourism, culture and creative arts, promulgation of legislation and regulations on tourism, culture and creative arts development, including investment policies and incentives, coordination and collaboration with other government agencies development partners, the private sector, and non-governmental organizations on matters concerning tourism, arts, and culture. And then development of policies and programs to link up with Africans, including Ghanaians in the diaspora, for tourism, culture, and creative arts, and investment promotion for the country. Our policy objectives include 
creating awareness on the importance of tourism, culture, and creative arts, developing capacity for arts and culture industry, preservation of the Ghanaian cultural heritage, development of policies to support private sector participation in culture, to increase contribution to global cultural economy, and then mobilize resources for development of tourism, culture, and creative arts. There is no doubt that from the above, and as the premier broadcasting corporation with a presence in all the 10 regions of Ghana, the GBC is uniquely placed to partner my ministry in creating awareness on the importance of culture, as well as leading in our country's cultural renaissance. I therefore wish to formally invite GBC to join hands with my ministry in this regard. I am reliably informed that this celebration was instituted three years ago and that it, ha it has two components, the internal, which is limited to only staff of the corporation and encourages them to wear Ghanaian dresses to work. The best dress for every week are then awarded prizes. Staff are also encouraged to eat only indigenous dishes throughout the period whilst patronizing made in Ghana products. TV and radio content is also centered on Ghanaian culture. The external component incorporates a food bazaar made in Ghana exhibition, blood donation, and high life concert, and is open to the general public. To all intents and purposes, this is a very laudable initiative which must be supported and encouraged by every Ghanaian, especially corporate Ghana. Why do I say this? Because of the noble objectives behind the celebration. The corporation adopted this program to complement the national effort to promote the patronage of made in Ghana products for the growth of Ghanaian businesses and industries. This is indeed the surest way to grow the Ghanaian economy and create jobs for our teeming youth. This initiative therefore reflects government's efforts to grow our industries. As you may recall, under the leadership of His Excellency President Adekun Kufo, uh, the ministry launched the Made in Ghana Wear on Friday's campaign. You will all agree with me that the current president, Nana Adodankwe Kufuado, has taken it a notch higher by wearing Ghanaian fabrics every day. With the first gentleman of the land leading the crusade to patronize Made in Ghana fabrics, it is not surprising that the campaign has caught on very well Ghanaians and even resident expatriates as well. My, my ministry, with support from the World Bank, in, nine, in 2015 also embarked on a Friday wear smoke campaign to get Ghanaians to patronize the northern Ghana smoke. To this end, my ministry has partnered the Gushegu District Assembly and the traditional authorities to construct a smoke weaving craft village at Gushegu in the northern region. The land has been secured, and the sword cutting ceremony for the beginning of construction works took place on 28 September 2017. All these tie in with an innovative marketing campaign dubbed See Ghana, Eat Ghana, Wear Ghana, and Feel Ghana, which we have launched. This project emphasizes local content and encourages Ghanaians to consume local products, which eventually will help produce, will help reduce over-reliance on foreign and imported goods. This will accelerate the forward and backward supply and value chain linkages between tourism, arts and culture, and other sectors of the economy. One of my implementing agencies, the National Commission on Culture, in collaboration with a private sector partner, Street Fashion Brain, have just launched the Wear Ghana Month. The two institutions have declared and set apart the month of March, which is our Independence Month, to promote Ghana's clothing, culture, and, culture and heritage by encouraging Ghanaians to wear made in Ghana clothes and other fashion accessories that are produced locally for both corporate and social functions. The objective is to promote our local textile and fashion accessories industry and reward creativity. They have also launched a social media competition dubbed Wear Ghana Challenge, and participants stand a chance of winning attractive prizes every week for just wearing that special attire. Distinguished invited guests, I believe all these initiatives 
are congruent with GBC's Heritage Month celebrations, whose launch today is to capture the imagination of the public and entice them to first put in a personal effort to reflect their traditional values, which include dressing, food, language, music, dance, etc. And secondly, get them to participate in GBC's version of the celebration. I doff my hat off to GBC management and staff for this wonderful initiative. I can assure you that for next year's celebration, all the staff of my implementing agencies will join you throughout the celebration. The icing, the icing on the cake is the idea to let all your eateries concentrate on providing only Ghanaian dishes. This is a feather in your cap, and I'll encourage you to do even more to assist my ministry in promoting our culture. Finally, I would advise that we target the youth and religious groups in future celebrations to ensure that we do not lose our culture, which is what identifies us as a people. Our culture, arts and tourism resources are unique products and they constitute the capital that has to be harnessed for the holistic transformation of our co economy. Once again, I say kudos to management and staff and may God bless us all. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, let's do it better for Mr. Edwin. Uh, also, Mr. Once again. So we, we, we go for a short break and uh, we'll take the cultural uh, uh, performance. And then we'll then Edwin will come back and then we'll do the proper thing while we are here today. Okay. okay. So I appreciate him once again, ladies and gentlemen. The Lali, let's go.
All right, so can we appreciate them, ladies and gentlemen? This is their Delali Dance Ensemble, right? Okay. Out of curiosity, what dance was that? It kills the cat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so ask them. Ask your question. Yes, what, what dance was that? Ajobo. Ajo what? Ajobo. Okay, is this somebody's name? It's a dance name. Dance name, <laughs> okay. All right, Ajo, I thought I heard Ajo, Ajo. and then Ajo. Ajo. maybe Ajo, yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. Good, good, it's a very nice you know, language here. Yeah. Yes, mm. so, so we're moving on. Yeah, we, we've been joined by the Honorable Otiko Afisa Jaba, who is the minister in charge of gender <laughs> children and social protection. Honorable, we're honored to have you here this morning. Your friend Akushikaku is here. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so um, what next do we have this morning? Well, I just asked you whether, mm -hmm. you know, in school you were taught, you know, dances. When I was Are you in school, asking me? yes, when okay. I was in school, we were made to learn mm -hmm. the various dances mm -hmm. peculiar to the various regions. What is she going to? So, out of curiosity, I just wanted to, to know because then you would know um, the various fabrics, Do I outfits remember? that are peculiar to the various regions which we are going to see now. You're right. Um, that's, that's a, a critical <laughs> question. But honestly, during those times, I didn't enjoy, join that club. <laughs> it, it was on club base. I didn't join the dance club, so I'm fine. I mean, I didn't well, so then you need to sit through <laughs> what we are going to have next. I will, yes. with all glee. Next, we're going to have some modeling. Mm. It's going to be with um, traditional fabrics. That's right. So it's going yeah. to be... A mixture yeah. of a lot of uh, things. I can't wait to see that happen. Yeah, so right. you are ready to, to learn something, of right? Of course, I am. Okay. I have my pens and papers around ready. So without much ado, yeah. we're going to start with the modeling. Great. So I can see them out mm. there. So let's give a warm welcome to, to our models. Great. We're going to be invited to do a 10 or two, you know? Yeah. Oh. You, you, you I could guess have done we, it. we don't make the cut. No, we don't. We don't. We don't. <laughs> but, but this is homemade. Yes. I, mean, I mean, everything here, you, whatever you saw here is from GBC, yes. actually. Yes. Yeah, we didn't import any more anywhere. They are all here. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. wonderful. 
So GTP once again is taking care of us here. You can see GTP all around. So it's a collaboration between GTP and GBC. Yes. Wonderful fabric there. Yes. Mm, great. At this point, we're going to officially launch the month. Mm -hmm. And um, we're going to have some Aduatu Asha hair onto the podium. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So if we're ready, let's go. OK, so um, Honorable uh, Mutiko Jabba will be accompanied by uh, Mr. Edwin. Oh, who's the man, sir? From the tourism exactly. ministry. Exactly. To do the law. Right. Okay. Queen Mothers, always so regal. Um, heads of departments, uh, members of the GBC board, the management and staff of uh, GBC, distinguished guests and uh, viewers, all protocols observed. I am especially delighted and yet humbled to be here to be part of this launch because this is where I cut my teeth doing Kokroko as an independent producer. <laughs> Today, I was supposed to be at Parliament, our select committee on poverty reduction. But I said to them, I have another boss, the GBC, and uh, I really have to be here. And they said, OK. I should make my opening statements and then they will let me come. So I've been trying to balance myself this morning, but we are here and I am elated that we are talking about our heritage as Ghanaians and the value we place on who we are as a people. It's displayed in our culture, our eating habits, our dressing. And uh, I was telling the um, Mamli that nothing will stop me from coming here. And uh, in spite of all my other obligations, GBC will always be the number one in my heart. A lot has been said about our history and our culture and our values, our food, music and dance. And so I just want to entreat Ghanaians that Ghana is the best place on earth. <laughs> Ghana is the pride of Africa. Ghana is the jewel of Africa. And so for the next 30 years, one year till eternity, I want us to reflect on this special gift that God has given us to be born as Ghanaians. And that it is important to think Ghana, live Ghana, and feel proud to be a Ghanaian, irrespective of your circumstances. And so you must wear made in Ghana. And all these uh, fast food joints, eat, eat made in Ghana food. Mm? Love our music, our culture, our art. They all say who we are and depict the true Ghanaian that we are. People have died for you and I to be here today. And I feel blessed and I want every Ghanaian to feel blessed that we are here today. That all these people and us, we are celebrating and getting closer to South March Independence Day. I feel very, very patriotic. We, we must be patriotic. We must sacrifice for Ghana. We must live and die for Ghana. Because 
it's not everybody who gets the chance to be a Ghanaian. Some are Nigerians, <laughs> some are Europeans and whatever. But to be Ghanaian is unique. You need to have a birth certificate and a passport that says that you are Ghanaian. <laughs> I am certain that we will bring up our children to feel prouder so that they will not be running away to other countries and end up in a mess in human trafficking and what have you. And so I want us all, as we celebrate this launch of the heritage of the GBC, let's celebrate our Ghanaianness. And so on this note, it is my honor you're coming to help me and privilege to declare GBC's Heritage Month duly launched. so very much that was so nicely done mm. so officially the Ghana Broadcasting Corporation is in our heritage month great duly launched all right so we've come afar and uh, it's time for us to um, do one or two things and they'll be out of here but how did you feel when w was it a gun that was shot I, I wasn't expecting that yeah I, I mean, almost uh, left everybody <laughs> in the room <laughs> I, I, I held you actually <laughs> You would have seen that Kushka <laughs> dashing out there, but anyway, that that beside the point. All right, so it's time for us to invite on stage uh, Pogna Zumbu the first, who is the queen mother of um, Yuthu Tupori. She is known in private life as Claire Bano Yakubu. She will give us the the, the vote of thanks, and then followed by the closing prayer. <laughs> Thank you very much, MCs. Honorable Minister, Gender, Children, and Social Protection, Honorable Jabba. We also have the Honorable Minister for Culture, Tourism, Culture, and Creative Arts. We have Nime Name, the Board Management and Staff of GBC, and invited guests. I'm very honored indeed to be called upon to give the vote of thanks. You all agree with me that it's been a success. Please let's give a hand to God <laughs> Almighty. So we are, we are thanking God firstly for, for this success. I also want to thank the ministers for their time. We know how busy they are, but they managed to be here uh, to launch it. Minister for Gender, Children and Social Protection, we are grateful to you. The Minister for Tourism, Culture, and Creative Art is not here, but she was able to send a, a very able director here to talk to us. We are grateful to her. And we, we are looking forward to that promise that next year the staff will be here to, to, launch, to launch it together with us. Uh, Nime and Ame, we also know you have a very tight program. You are all here to crown the day. This program wouldn't have uh, been successful without the efforts of the board, management, and staff of GBC. Please, let's give a hand to all of us. <laughs> For IMCs, they drove the program very well and made it very, very lively. Shall we give them a hand, please? <laughs> and then our Delali uh, Cultural Dance Ensemble, we are also grateful to you. Last but not the least, we give a very big thank you to, um, thanks to GTP. They clothe our MCs, and if you look at the backdrop and all the beautiful cloths that are hanging here, it's GTP. Please, let's give them a hand. Yeah. 
Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for the question. Can we do once again for the people of Pogna uh, Zombo the first? Okay. Now, before we, we leave here, mm. a quick um, announcement yes. from the Gender Ministry. Yeah. It's um, International Women's Day on the 8th of March, but the ministry is starting its celebrations from today. Hey. Yeah. It, the ministry has a whole lot of activities planned, yeah. so I believe we'll all have our ear to the ground and support it to make it a success. Not only women, actually. No. Okay. We all came let, from let, women. Let, so. let them know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. We are part of it. Yes. All right. Okay. Mm, so we're not done yet. Um, there's a second part of the program. Where you going to? I mean, for me, uh, that's that's the huge part, the climax, where Akushika will show you what 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 she knows to do best, <laughs> actually. So. Um, yes. Yes, but before that before then, we'll yeah. just wrap up here mm -hmm. with a prayer, yeah. and then go out on the lawn, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And the prayer is going to be by Saeed Abdul Jalil. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon. Shall we pray? Auzubillahi min ash-shaytani rajim Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Ya Allah, we thank you for bringing this program to a successful end. We pray to you that having started the Heritage Month in your name, it will end in your name. Guide and guard all those gathered here safely to where we all came from. We pray this in your name. Ehdina Sirat al Mustaqim, Sirat al Lazina and Amta Alayhim, Gari al Magdubi Alayhim, Walla Dualin. Amen. Thank you. So, so we done. Well, you've been waiting for for, for, yeah. for, for this this mm. part. For oh, some of the traditional dishes that yeah. we have More made for you. More regions of the country. Yes. Yeah. Thank you all for coming. Thanks very much indeed. What is it looking at you? Only praise. Only praise. Only praise.